Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another really interesting video today. We have got a different concept today. I have Kaushik with me. He's currently an engineering student studying at Triple IT Shrika Kolar. And he's going to solve some SQL questions. Right? It's going to be like a live SQL challenge or live SQL interview, whatever you want to call it. So I thought of doing this different format to see how it goes and also testing people live on a call, right? This is also an opportunity for people to showcase their SQL skills, how much SQL they actually know. So the format is going to be very simple. We're going to have three questions, one like very easy, one I would say like easy to medium, and one which is more medium to hard, right? It's not super hard, but at least medium to hard question. And Kaushik is going to try to solve these questions one by one. So let's get started right away. Uh, hello, Kaushik. Welcome to our channel. How are you doing? Yes, sir. Fine, sir. First of all, thank you, sir, for inviting me to your channel to showcase my skills. Thank you, sir. Yeah, cool. I've seen you share a lot of my projects on your LinkedIn, so I thought I'll give you this opportunity. So let's begin, Kaushik. It's a very uh, straightforward data set to start with. Uh, you can okay. see, you can see, uh, you know, the table, right, in front of you. Yes, sir. Next student. So, yeah, so I have student ID, name, section, and max marks, right? Very simple. In fact, I think even our YouTube channel has uh, some video with the data set similar to this, right? So now the first question, if you notice, this is what I want you to do. Just you know, uh, give me a query so that I can you know, just uh, show the rows which have the max marks above, above 70. 70. Okay, okay. So, so I'm sorry, I'm selling everything from the table already, but tell me what else I need to add to the query. Yes, sir. So my task is to get the maths mock more than 70, right, sir? Yes, show yes. all the rows, right? All the mm. columns with the data, but only for max marks above 70. Yes, sir. So for this, we have to wear condition, sir. Use wear condition. OK, where? so where, where should I put the wear condition? In the below, sir. OK. So I, I write where? Okay. Where? Like uh, where max marks greater than 70. Okay. Okay, so max marks greater than 70. Yes, sir. Okay. And then I just put the semicolon. So it's a, as you see, very simple, straightforward question. Yes. So let me run and see. And yeah, there you go, right? So now we have all the people who got max marks basically above 70. Yes. Sir. Okay. So that's good. Like, it was a very, you know, let's say, uh, easy question to start with. Uh, now I have uh, the same, you know, same data only. Okay. Uh, I have a second question. So if you notice the data, I have students from section A, mm -hmm. section B, and section C. So I have yes. three sections. Yes. Sir. Now, in this question, what I want you to do is, I want you to group A and B, right, as one, one category, uh, C separately. Right? Okay. And and for each of these categories, I want you to find the average uh, max mark. Right? So A and B in one category. Yeah? OK. Yes. Uh, so what concept do you think you can use here? I mean, there are multiple ways uh, to go about this. Can you think of any any concept? Like last question, you said where clause. Can you think of like some statement, something which we can use here to you know separate these uh, sections? Yes, sir. First of all, we have to group A and B sections sir, into one bucket. Yes. So for, for this, we have to use a case statement. Yes. OK. By so, using how do, cool. so can you tell me, like, how do I go about this? So I think you're on the right track. So uh, can you uh, tell me the syntax? Like okay, case like when, okay. when, when section equal to? Section equal to okay. A and section equal to B. Uh, do you think this should not be right? It should be right separately. B. Be right then, and okay. then, sir, yeah. you can name it as like a joint class or anything. Okay. 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 So then I will I'll give it a name A, B class. Yes. Any section. Okay. Okay. Else, else, section. Else, section. Else, uh, 
else uh, i'll write c section right that's the other one yes sir. okay cool and then okay how do you finish the case statement generally like and okay and as okay and as section name okay cool and write section name all right then what else we have to group by classes so uh, uh group by group by call call group by section name okay okay group by section name okay okay and uh, average of math marks okay average of math marks okay but yeah okay. should work okay let's see so you said case when section equal to a and section equal to b let's let's run and see we're getting only c section still there's some some i think some challenge in the query can you can you just think about it should we actually put and should we put or should we put something else? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Or, sir. Okay. Yes, so let me put or. And now let's rerun this. Okay. Now we got it, right? So yes. AB average is 71, C is 69, right? So if you yes. put and uh, obviously it wants. It to be both section A and B, which is technically yes. not possible yes, yes. Uh, for any student. So you can put or, or got a yeah, or you can also use in. You could say yes yeah. when section a, in A comma in, right? A or B. Yes, A comma B. Okay, cool. So that's the answer for the second question. Now I think you got it. Like uh, maybe one place you got a bit stuck, but it's fine. You managed to crack it. So that's good, right? That was basically testing key statement. So good that you you know already know this. So now we'll move on to the final question. Uh, I think it's I would say a little more challenging since it in, it might involve window functions, but this is the data. Okay, so you the, here I have some company mm -hmm. names, right? Like BMW, Audi. I have the year, uh, and also I have the sales yes. sales numbers. So now I want you to show the absolute change, right? Absolute change in sales. Uh, from 2017 to 2018 for BMW, right? So basically, BMW in 2017 was 100. Was 100. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, BMW in uh, uh, 2018 was 120. So the absolute okay. change was what? Like 20, right? From 100, it went to 120. Yes. I want you to write a query to somehow show this. Okay, so for this one, we have to use a window functions. Okay, so can you tell me how can I uh, go about this question? Yes, we have used a lag function. Okay, like. cool. So I think you are on the right track. Uh, yeah, so can you tell me? Okay, let me just showcase uh, these three columns anyways. Uh, so apart from that, like you're saying something called lag, right? So how do yes. I write the query? It's like lag of sales. Okay. Cool. Like over. Okay. Power of partition by. Okay, so what should we partition by here? Like we can partition by company name, sir. Okay, so the name of the column is company. All right. Like an order by year. Okay, so order by year. I'll make it ascending. All right, good. Mm -hmm. And as will... as previous year sales. Okay, good. Uh, all right. So I am having this. So let let me run this and check. Let's see, if we get something. Yes. All right. So BMW 2017. Uh, there's no previous year, which makes sense. Uh, BMW for 2018, the sales was 120. For the previous year, it was 100. Right. So we are almost there. Uh, so how do we now show the difference between okay. the so there is a term called common table expression. Sir. We have to create a partial table for this okay. query, like with okay. CTC as 
okay so can you uh, tell me the syntax like uh, what should i do yes I'll tell you. with ctc as with okay so i can give any name like let me just put uh, like whatever you can name. give any name sir whatever we name whatever oh. Cool. So let let's say uh, which says table, right? Okay. As fine, sir. As and then I open and you know close the bracket. Close it. Mm, close it. Cool. And then what should I do? First of all, check check. First of all, we have to check sir. like select star from sales okay. table. Okay. Cool. Just we want to basically verify if it's working. Verify. Okay. Yes. Verify. Okay. So I'm selecting that, and, and now I know. Now I know. It's so our task is to absolute change in sales from 2017 to 2018. So for BMW. For only BMW. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So for this one, we have to using where where class. Sir. Okay. So where I say where. Company equal to BMW. Okay. Yes. And after okay. star. Okay. Next, comma. Okay like sales minus okay like there is a some function cell when we handle null values like pole s function okay yes okay yes. of like previous year sales previous year. comma zero set so basically, why, why are you putting this? Can you explain? Better you see that, sir, in the previous year sales, there is some null value, sir. If yeah. there is null values, it replaces with zero, sir. Okay, okay, cool. So wherever it's null, instead of showing it as null, you will make it zero. Yes. Wherever there's a value, it will use the value. It's there, yes. Okay, all right. So yes. sales minus coalesce of previous. Okay, let's see. Like, okay, sir. I'll just run this and see. And now, yeah, I think they're almost there. So this is the difference. So I basically wanted this, this value, which is 20. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, we're almost there. So I have to show only for the year 2018, what, what else is missing? What, sir? So I just wanted to show 2017 to 2018, right? Only that jump. So I okay. now have three rows. If I have to just show like this row, what is still missing? Like, how can we filter the data? Like and and okay. sir, you want 2017 to 18, sir. You want two rows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, just the jump for the year 2018. That should be enough for me. And e equal to 2018, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, right. It's it's pretty straightforward. 2018. Let's see, right? So 2018 year. The sales of the year was 120 the previous year 2017 was 100 so we had a jump of 20. yes right? and if you want uh, uh yeah i think yeah this is all already there right so I, i've asked for absolute change so cool that's good right like you know again uh good job i think you cracked the question so again you know you have shown you know windows functions common table expression to you know kind of create like a temporary table with the width clause and also this coalesce function to you know effectively not show the null right like null that's null. that's already pretty good right cool how did you find the questions all the three questions like was like first one i know was very easy but how was the second and the third question sir i used to practice with chat gpt sir okay i have to give a prompt so can you give me some coachings on windows function okay after that the chat gpt will give some coaching sir after okay. that i will give the answers through chat and verify okay. my answer and rate it out from for 10 10 mocks then chat gpt will give for mocks for my answers okay okay cool that's good and uh, i think some of these concepts we covered in our videos have you seen lag function in any of my videos before like lag with clause and all yes sir i have seen your videos also okay okay cool that's good like that's fantastic. So you you know cracked all the three questions. Really good job. Uh, you know thanks thanks for this really good performance. That's really uh, you know fantastic performance. Uh, so thanks for that. Uh, anyways, guys. So 
anyone who is interested in hiring Kaushik is currently a final year student. If you want to hire him as an intern in the data analyst team, definitely can reach out to him. I'm putting his LinkedIn and also his GitHub link in our description section. Please uh, contact him if you're interested. I'm sure he will be a good fit for the team. Thank you, sir. Right? Cool then. Thank you, Kaushik. And thank you, guys. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, take care. Bye.